So today on Wig War Investigations, we are going to investigate a woman who bought a $400 bob wig, a bob wig, y'all, and claims that the wig was in terrible condition and it was sold by a hairstylist who also sells and colors wigs from Lavish House of Beauty. The client took her story to TikTok and it blew up y'all but i want everyone to hear both sides of the story before we start pointing any fingers we're going to use our investigative skills we're going to see a lot of juicy receipts and all that and then at the end let me know in the comments who you think was in the wrong let's go hi guys i was scammed for 400 dollars by a toronto hairstylist and i'm going to tell you guys about all the red flags that i ignored so first, I wanted the hair to be a little bit more blonde than the photos that she sent me. She refused to do any further work on her own product. As someone offering hair coloring services, she knew her product was so trash, she didn't even want to accept money to tone the hair. You didn't even want to do further work on your own product. She knew it was trash, okay? I ignored it. Even if I were going to get an install done by her, I would have had to make any changes myself and then brought it back to her. The second red flag is when I came in person to buy the wig, I noticed that she had sent me very catfish photos of the hair. First of all, the two sides aren't even. Look at this side. Look at this side. I have to remove the green screen. Look at the back, the back is orange. Look at it, it's orange. When I asked her why the bleaching was very blotchy, she literally gaslit me and told me that the wig was different shades of blonde. Does that even make sense? Does, is this giving different shades of blonde? I had driven so far to pick up this wig and she was so hostile when I was asking her like, why is it blotchy? Why does it look like that? She's like, do you want it or not? And because I felt pressured and wanted to support, you know, a small business, I still purchased the wig, okay? That was red flag number two. She gaslit me. Red flag number three was that the hair was hella stiff. She put so much product into the hair so I wouldn't notice the fact that the ends were fried off. What the fuck? What is that? Keep in mind, I spent $400 on this. When I went home, I did tone the hair because it was super orange. It was giving Donald Trump. Now she's trying to gaslight me again and say it's my fault that I toned the hair. And what I'm trying to figure out is why I can't tone hair that I paid $400 for. I can tone hair from AliExpress, but I can't tone your $400 human hair wig. What is that? Like, why is it blotchy? Despite toning it, it is still orange. She literally put bleach on it, walked away, came back and took the number out of hat. So now she's trying to victim blame me. Red flag number six was that when I messaged her about her hair, she blocked me. She advertised the wig as pre-plucked and not bleached. If you want to see a part two with our text messages, let me know. Red flag number seven, she supports Balenciaga. Hey guys, I'm just about to drop off the hair, but I wanted to clarify a couple of things. I was always very transparent with the fact that I had toned the hair. I did admit to toning it. I used 20 developer and I left it on for 20 minutes. However, I don't understand why you couldn't tone. $400 14 inch human hair. I'm gonna let these pictures speak for themselves. This is how she advertised the hair. This is how I received the wig without any additional toning. This wig is literally five different colors. That's why I had to tone the wig in the first place. This is the product that she sold me. 14 inches human hair for $400. As you can see, the bleach job is so blotchy. This is why a lot of the hair had fallen out, especially around the brown area. That's where I showed you guys a lot of the breakage. She left the bleach on for way too long. She added a lot of product to the hair to hide the breakage. This is another picture. Look at how uneven the cut is. She advertised the wig as customized. However, the hairline is not plucked. I will have a follow-up video of a deeper analysis of the hair done by a professional hairstylist. Additionally, she never told me that the hair could not be toned. She was very evasive when responding to my questions about toner. She refused to tone the hair herself, which I mentioned in my part one. Here's another screenshot of her lying about plucking the hairline. She said that the hair was human hair. It's clear she's trying to blame me for ruining the hair, when if the hair was actually quality human hair, it would have been able to take toner without any further problems. Instead of taking accountability for over-processing the hair with bleach, she's trying to gaslight not only me, but everybody else into thinking that the damage caused to the hair could be caused by toner. However, this is absolutely incorrect. I've toned multiple wigs in the past from AliExpress and I'd never seen damage to the hair like the one we've seen. Toner would not have caused those results to the hair. That is bleach. Bleach. Hey y'all. So I guess it's by force. Story time. So if you watched um, Courtney's TikTok, you know she's claiming that I sold her a $400 wig that was bad quality hair and that was trying to think of the words she used um that was batchy and it just wasn't good hair if you watched her live you would know that that's what she's accusing me my salon of um so let me just tell you guys a little bit about me and my business Before okay so um i've been doing hair for 13 years and I've been selling hair for seven years. I've been selling hair for about seven years now. The hair that I sell 
is raw virgin hair and it's also the hair that I use for myself. So any hair you see on my head is the same the same hair that I sell to my clients. I don't use one vendor for myself and then use another vendor for my clients. Secondly, um, I see a lot of people saying um, $400 for a 14 inch wig is expensive. The wig is actually $310, but because I bleach and add highlights to the hair, I'm gonna charge my service fee. So to add color to the hair and stuff is gonna cost extra money. It's a $310 wig for a 14 inch, um, 13 by six virgin hair. It's a pre-made wig. And I charge also. Okay, yeah, so she messaged me about the 20th of February. She asked me, do I have any wigs on hand? I told her, yeah. I was home, I'm off on Monday, so I was home. I sent her um, videos out of my phone of the wigs that I have on hand. And honestly, let me just say, from, from her messaging me, just the messages alone, I honestly didn't want to do business with her because she gave me bad vibes. She was rude. So from she was rude, I was honestly like, I was debating if I was going to sell her a wig or not. Because I sent her, I sent her um, wigs out of my, the wigs out of my phone because I wasn't at the salon to send wigs, send the actual wigs in person. I sent her the videos that I have out of my phone and I was telling her, okay, these are the ones that are available and these are the ones that are sold out. And I would tell her like, this one sold out, this one sold out, but this one in this video is available. She, oh, the yeah, exactly. Um, she decided to respond to me and say, well, if it's sold out, then don't send it to me. From she said that, automatically, like, people don't think that as a business owner, we're always, we're supposed to be professional, which is true. But we're also human. So speak to us like we're human if you want us to speak to you professionally. Why are you telling me, well, don't send me the wigs if they're sold out? Obviously, I'm not going to send you in particular sold out wigs and say, haha, you can't have it. I'm sending you videos with other wigs in it to show you these are the wigs that I have, and these are the wigs that I don't have. So anyways, I'll show you that part of the conversation. Um, I still didn't respond rude because automatically when somebody's rude, I'm autom the first thing I think is, I have to be professional. So anyways, she she said that, I responded, I responded, I'm going to show you what I responded. Okay, yeah, so that's, a, that's, how, she, that's how I responded to what she said. She ended up... Um, pointing out the wig that she was interested in, said she was already looking for a similar wig. She then asked me if I could, um, she then asked me if I could make the wig lighter. And I'm gonna put in, like, my response to that. I think I sent a voice. No, I wouldn't be able to do that because it's already dyed in highlights. It would be too much work to try to go over only the highlight pieces in the hair. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. The only thing that I could um, suggest if you wanted like some more white blonde in it is if you were to get like um, a 613 bundle and then like add some tracks into the wig. But other than that, I wouldn't be able to actually like dye it. Okay, so after I explained to her that I won't re-dye the wig, the wig is as is. Um, it would be too difficult for me to go over all the highlights that are in there and pick out each piece and re-bleach them because she wanted lighter highlights. Um, so I won't be doing it. She proceeded to ask me three more times, even though I already explained that to her. That's when I went to my sister. I told my sister, somebody's messaging me and I really feel like I should not do business with them because just by her messages, you could tell that she's going to give me a hard time and I, I don't feel good about it. I'm actually so mad at myself that I went through with the purchase or with the sale. Okay, and also she keeps saying that I refuse to do more work on my own work so that's how i must know the wig is bad but if you're a stylist and you know anything about um adding highlights to a wig and how much time that takes and how you have to do it in sections and then the parts that you want lighter you have to go over again and how much how much hours that could take and then you wash it make sure you wash it good so all the bleach is out and then you dry it and then i have to straighten it i cut it and style it why would i want to go put more i'm not doing that over so that is why i refuse to do it again why would I do that whole process all over again? She's telling me I would pay you for the service, but I refuse to do the service because I'm not doing the service. I can refuse the service. I'm not going to do that whole work all over again. It's already wig. It's an as-is wig. It's either you want it or you don't want it. And nothing's wrong with the color. Okay. If you don't want it... If that's not the color you're, you're going for, then don't take it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, she wanted me to dye the color lighter. Um, I told her four different times that I won't dye the color lighter. Um... She also asked if I do install. She asked the price for the install. I told her how much I charge to do installs. And I um, told her I do do installs. And she said, okay, well, I would want you to install the wig. But if you install the wig, you're going to have to change the color for me. That was another time she was rude. Because you don't tell me what I'm going to have to do. And also, I already told you four times that I'm not changing the color. 
So that's when I just said, I will not do further work in terms of color on this wig. And that's when she said, okay. So at this part is when I was like, iffy if I even wanted to continue doing business with this girl because she's asking me if it's human hair. And obviously it's human hair if you know I did a custom color on it. So like, are you just being annoying? So I didn't respond for a bit because I was literally like, I was iffy if I even wanted to sell her the wig at this point. And yeah, as you can see, this is when I had to say to her, like, I'm not going to do any more work on the wig in terms of color. Okay, so yes, as you know, I sent her videos. That's the wig that she picked. The exact wig that I sent her the video of is the exact wig she came and picked up. Remember, she didn't order this online. So even for the people that are saying um, what I ordered versus what I bought, that's only in a case where I ordered something, you sent it to me, and when I got it, this is, it looked completely different. She came and seen the exact wig from the video I sent her in person. Okay, let me fast forward. Because already through the messages, I was having a hard time with her, I wanted to make sure, like, usually if a client's coming, I'll bag up the wig or whatever, get it ready for them so they don't have to, like... It doesn't take long. I'll bag it up and I'll give it to them. If they want to take it out, look at it, it's fine. Her in particular, I didn't bag it. I made sure I kept it exactly how it is in the video. It was exactly on the mannequin. It was how it was in the video because I wanted her to look at it and make sure it's what she wanted because she was talking about the color that she wanted it lighter. To me prior and said, like, she's going to come in soon. So I got it ready. I continued. I brought it to the front. I put it. I left it on the mannequin and put it on the front desk. I continued my client in the meantime. And then when she came in, I greeted her. I said, hello. I said, you're here for the wig, right? She said, yeah. I said, okay, well, that's it right there. You can take a look at it. And then, yeah, let me know. So she was looking at it for a few minutes. Um, I went and got a bag from the back. I went and got a bag from the back of the salon. Um, so yeah, I went to the back. I got the bag. As she looked at the wig, I continued my client for a bit. When she seemed like she was done looking at the wig, I walked back to the front um, I asked her, is it okay? Do you want it? She said, yeah, but I didn't notice, um, this piece in the, in the video. My client for a bit, when she seemed like she was done looking at the wig, I walked back to the front. Um, I asked her, is it okay? Do you want it? She said, yeah, but I didn't notice, um, this piece in the, in the video. So I turned the, I'm like, which piece? I turned the wig to myself and she showed me like a darker highlight. So I said, yeah, the highlights are all different. Like I left on some longer than others to get the different color highlight effect. Then she said, oh, okay. I said, yeah, do you still want it? She said, yeah. She is telling everyone that she she pointed out something that was blotchy and I said, yeah, it's different colors. Do you want it or not? That's not true. I would never ask somebody, do you want it or not? I asked her, do you still want it? Because it has a darker highlight and I already know from our messages that she wants light highlights. So do you still want it? She said, yeah. And I saw... Also, in which part of that interaction um, did I gaslight her? She keeps saying that I, I gaslit her. Which part of that conversation did I gaslight her? I, I gave her time to look at the wig. I went to the back. I continued the client. When I went to the front, I asked her, like, is everything good? Do you still want it? Where did I gaslight her? She pointed out the darker streak. Okay, so again, she said I gaslit her. I didn't gaslight her. And also, there was a client in my chair, and I said that I would um get my client to, like, um recap the encounter with her when she came in. And even before I could message my client, my client ended up sending me the TikTok of her to me and said there's no way this is so this is the girl that i seen come that morning so i'm actually going to just attach our little conversation when um my what my client said to me that witnessed the whole encounter and it's so funny because after um courtney left i said to, this is my regular client we're close like yeah so after courtney left i said to her you know i was hesitant to sell her the wig because she was giving me a hard time over text and she was asking me why and i was telling her like she kept asking me to dye the hair over and i refused and she was rude and she told me don't tell me, um, don't send me. Okay, so this is my, um, I'm attaching my client's reaction. So this is my client's reaction to just seeing the girl's TikTok. Okay, so before I move forward, um, I'm gonna attach videos of the wig because she said the wig was stiff um when she was there but the only reason she bought it because she felt pressured and she felt gaslighted so i'm gonna send a video this i'm gonna attach the same video that i sent to her and i'm also gonna attach a video like when i first made the wig like i'm just touching the hair or whatever it's a good thing i have these videos in my phone um she said the only reason the wig looked good is because um i put a whole bunch of products but if you know anything about hair if you put a whole bunch of products in the hair it's not gonna make it look better it's gonna make it look worse oil and all of that stuff is gonna weigh down the hair it's gonna have no flow or none of that so she can't say that i put a whole bunch of products in my hair because the only thing i use in the hair when i'm straightening it is heat protector that's it
Okay, so I got up until the purchase. She purchased the wig. She said it was fine. She wanted it. She left with it. Now, two days later, Friday, I'm at work. And um, I get a message from her. And she says, this wig is unacceptable. And I respond, what's the issue? And as I respond, what's the issue? I start getting a call. I actually didn't answer the first call because I was like, it wasn't her that was calling. It was like a number from probably like another client. It was another client found it after, but I didn't answer the first call because if I get a message like that, I'm automatically anxious. Like, what happened? Like, how's the wig not good? So I got a call. I didn't answer. I messaged her back and I said, what's the issue? And then the same number that was calling me ended up sending me a message and said, um, don't respond to that girl. She has you on TikTok live. Like, she's showing our messages like on a green screen. On a green. OK, so, yeah. Um, ooh. When my client said that, um, I ended up, she ended up trying to call me again as soon as she sent the message. I answered the phone now and I was like, hey, like, who's this? Because I don't have a lot of numbers saved. I have a lot of clients. She told me who it is and I was like, like, are you serious? I was like, okay, like, thanks for letting me know. Automatically, I was mad because if you have an issue with a product I sold you, the right thing to do is to message me and figure out, like, how we can move forward. And then depending on how I move, like, about the situation, then you say, okay, you know what? I'm taking this to social media. So before, prior to even messaging me, you went to social media. Also, I forgot a part. When my client called me, she also said, don't respond to that girl. She has you on a green screen. Also, she toned the hair and washed it and everything. And everybody in the comments are telling her, don't tell, are telling her, don't tell me that she already put more chemicals and, and did whatever to the hair. And now the hair is fried. Don't tell me that she did any of that. Just message me and say the hair is unacceptable. But they, they're telling her not to tell me what she did to the hair. So... Right off the bat, I already knew the problem because my client then told me. And everyone clearly in the comments on her live knew the issue as well for you guys to advise her not to tell me that she done toned the hair. So from there, I'm, I'm pissed because you're playing games with me. You're on live. You have my number on live on TikTok and you have over 20K followers. You have my number there. And instead of you messaging me what the problem is, you're asking the people in your live to help you message me. But if there was a problem with my product, you are the only person that could know what the issue is. So you should be messaging me directly and telling me what you're finding wrong with the wig. How can you ask somebody else in the live, what should I say? As soon as I joined the live, I ended up joining the live myself. And I hear her saying, what should I say? I had to end up typing to her like I'm in the live. You're asking them what to say. I'm here. Like I'm seeing what you're saying. Like you think this is a game. Okay, so now that I'm aware of what's going on and she's on live and she has my number on live and she's asking them for advice and stuff. At this point, it's like... I can't take your request serious. I'm not communicating with you anymore. You're putting me on live. You're making it seem like I did something wrong. You you ruined the hair and you're already planning on how to cover up the fact that you toned it. But you're going to message me and say the wig is unacceptable. So I went back to the message and I told her. I'm going to attach what I told her. But um, I said something along the lines of like, I'm no longer going to be assisting you with this issue that you're having. Because you're on TikTok live with my number. Um, like, I'll no longer be communicating with you. And then I blocked her number. So... From there, I'm like, I'm not dealing with her anymore. She's not, she, I'm not helping her. Like, there's nothing. Like, there's no communication. Like, you already disrespected me. I'm not dealing with you anymore. I can't, I can't make this bother me. So, it was honestly impossible for it not to bother me because I started getting calls after calls. Like, I had another message, another client mess call me. She called me on Snapchat and she's like, can, like, this girl's on TikTok. Um, she said the same exact thing. She's on TikTok um, talking about your hair and don't make her trick you. Like, she toned the hair. She toned the hair, but everyone's telling her not to tell you she toned the hair. So that was the second person that said those same exact, the same exact words. Like she toned the hair cam and they don't want her to tell you. Okay. So at that point, her number was blocked. I got a few calls. Um, so it was hard to ignore it. I ended up, they sent me the live. I ended up going in the live. I was listening to, the, to it. I, I read, like I was able to hear her saying, um, like, what should I say to her? Oh, she blocked my number. Like I heard her going back and forth with the people. What I don't get is how everyone's really trying to make it seem like I'm wrong. When if you guys know that you guys should, you guys advised her not to tell me that she toned the hair. Meaning that you guys knew that toning the hair is a potential problem. So why am I still the bad person if she went and toned the hair and damaged it? And you guys acknowledge that and know that. And then she tries to hide the fact that she toned it. That means that you're hiding the fact that you did something wrong to the hair. Also, before she knew that I knew that she toned the hair... People in the comments started asking her after. Oh, so did you tone the hair? Did you tone the hair? She's reading every other comment, but the, the people that are asking her, did you do something to the hair? She stopped acknowledging it because she didn't. And I have screen recordings of that. Of exactly. She didn't, she didn't want to acknowledge it. She didn't want to. She was mad that she brought up the fact that she toned the hair. Also, she keeps saying, why can't I tone $400 hair if I could tone AliExpress hair? First of all, she's not a professional stylist. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Because if you go on her TikTok, you'll see her hair. She doesn't do hair. Okay. 
Second of all, I've already bleached the hair. Some parts are bleached more than others to get the different tone highlights. If she goes and she puts chemicals on the hair and she leaves it for too long or does it incorrectly or uses too strong of a volume and obviously there's a chance of her wrecking the hair. When she purchased that wig, if you guys see how she's showing the short parts in the wig, there's little short parts in it. When she purchased that wig, she would never have purchased the wig if there was those little burnt off pieces of hair and all of that. You guys, please use your common sense. Why would she purchase a wig if it looked anything like what it looks like on her head? I've already attached a video of what the wig actually looked like before she bef before she did any of her, her work to it. So why would you think somebody's going to come into a store and see a wig that has all those little burnt off pieces and all of that and still purchase the wig? She obviously did that to the wig. Like, it, there, there's, no question, there's no doubt about it. She obviously did that to the wig on her own. Um, so yeah, I watched the live for a little bit and then I was obviously frustrated because the comments were pissing me off. Um, she, the fact that she wasn't responding to whether she toned the hair or not was pissing me off. So I was doing hair, but I had my headphone in and I was annoyed as fuck. Um, I still had a number blocked though, because I already made up my mind that I'm not going to deal with this girl. Um, then what made me unblock her number was I started receiving so many DMs on my, on my business page. Um, everyone was calling me a scammer. People were co commenting on our pictures. Um, the, first of all, this is a family business. This is me, my mom, and my sister. Um, people were commenting under our pictures saying, um, you scam and hoe, give the girl back her money, don't don't buy from this page, there's scammers, all of this stuff, like any of you guys know me. There's people from all over, the, like there's states, people, they're also messaging my phone. Every single number messaging my phone are different area codes. A whole bunch of people are messaging me. To make it worse, I started getting threats. So I decided to unblock her number and message her and tell me, you know what, add me to your live. Because I'm going to explain exactly why the wig looks the way it looks. And we're both going to put out our, both of our, our side of the story. Because you did not pick up the wig looking like that. And people are asking for her to show them pictures of what it looked like when she first got it. And she cannot, she, she's failing to do that. You have no pictures of what it looks like before. But after you did your work on it, you you ruined the hair, washed it or whatever, and then, put, and then made it freaking dry and then put it on your head, air dried and this big, and made it seem like that's how you got the wig. So I'm telling her, put me in the live. She's like, oh, now you want to unblock my number? So I'm going to attach our, 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 our conversation. Okay, so now I'm gonna just attach, um, I'm gonna attach me and her messages, me messaging her, um, about the live, me messaging her, bringing up that I know that she toned the wig and all of this stuff. So it wasn't until after I, mess I mentioned in the messages that you toned the wig and that's what ruined the wig when she started responding to the comments saying, yeah, I did tone the wig, but blah, 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 I should be able to tone the wig. Okay, so those are the messages. Um, okay, as you know, she toned the wig. That is definitely what messed up the wig because the wig was in perfect condition when she picked it up. There was nothing wrong with it. If she was not happy with the color or whatever, she could have got a professional to do it, not me, because I already told her I'm not re the hair because I already put too much work into the hair. Or she could have just not got it if that's not what, if that's not what she was looking for. Okay, so now on the topic of her toning the wig and her saying that she should be able to tone a wig. She said that she didn't put no chemicals on the wig. Little does she know that toning the hair, the volume that you use with the, with the toner to tone the hair is a chemical. That is just you proven to me and everyone else that you know nothing about doing hair. So you tone the wig, you use volume to add with the toner. That's the same thing that we use to bleach hair, volume and the bleach. Let me teach you something. If you use volume alone, you could damage hair with the volume. Volume alone, if you put volume on your wig right now, just volume, no bleaching powder, no toner, no nothing. Just volume on the wig. And you put volume and you leave it and you put it in a bag or you put it under heat. The volume alone is going to change the color of your wig. So how is that not how is that not you putting chemical on the hair? We don't know how long you kept that, that, that toner on the hair. We don't know anything that you did. And you have, you've already proved, proved that you're a liar. Because you already tried to hide the fact that you toned the hair to begin with. So yeah, that's my response. 
you went home, you toned the wig, you damaged the wig, and now you're trying to ruin my reputation. I've been building my business for 13 years. I've been building, I've, I've, my clients are literally like, I have clients that I've been doing in my basement since I was 17, since I was 15. And you're trying to ruin 13 years worth of credibility, me making sure that my hair is on point, me making sure that my customer service is on point. I've never dealt with this before. You're trying to ruin 13 years worth of work in a three minute video. I didn't want to respond, but I'm not going to make my 13 years of building my reputation be ruined for three minutes off of somebody that wants attention because this is this is attention seeking to me. And no, I did not lock my page because I'm a scammer. I locked my page because I was getting numerous, numerous comments on my pictures saying that I'm a scammer and trying to convince my clients not to come back to me. So that's why I locked my page. So until my story gets out on my side of the story, then that's when I'll unlock my page. And then you guys can take your sides then when I get to speak. Okay, so now I'm going to speak about why I keep calling her a clout chaser. I call her clout chaser because she's a clout chaser. She's doing all of this for attention and she's doing all of this to go viral, which you guys made happen. Um, firstly, she said in her um, in one of her videos, if I can't get my $400 back, I might as well get clout. I'm going to attach that. Um, also, three days prior to um, making a video about me, she was already complaining about another Toronto hairstylist. And in her video, she said she only went to go support that stylist because she, she um, heard bad reviews and that she loves red flags so she wanted to test her out herself like you're telling me that's not somebody that wants a reason to be disappointed so she could try to go viral with complaints that same stylist canceled her appointment why because the same reason that i didn't want to um sell her the wig because she said that she was rude she said that she was rude and she would she, she refuses to do her hair and she canceled her appointment and she sent her back her deposit and i have the proof of that too because she posted it herself so like i don't understand why you guys are blinded to her and blinded to the clout that she's looking for. I don't know, I don't have much more to say, but if you guys have any questions, um comment them below and i'll respond if you guys are being disrespectful into my in my comments i won't be responding to you or maybe i will Judge King Teague here, and I have the verdict. It was not the toner, it was definitely the color job. This is not from toner at all. This is bleach. This is toner. So these like blonde strands, this is T18. That's what my hair looks like after I bleach it and tone it with T18. The hairline was patchy. There were so many bald spots, it was not plucked properly at all. You could see that the back of the wig was definitely not bleached properly. It was not toned at all. But if it was straightened, you wouldn't be able to notice it. And you could see those blonde strands, that's definitely also T18. But you can see that it was not colored properly. Um, Again, the blonde strands that were affected by T18. Um, but either way, toner or not, she should still be able to put toner in her hair. Like, cheap bleach is going to do a lot more damage than toner, as you can see. I'm not on anyone's side, but she definitely was sold a bad wig, and you can literally see it. Like, please tell me that you can like, you can see it with your own eyes. Or, I, honestly, I thought she was trolling and cloud chasing at first, and then I got the wig, I'm like, yo, the girl didn't even do highlights. Like, with highlights, you usually, like, let me show you what you do. You usually weave through it. Like, this entire thing is just bleach. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever picture the stylist posted originally that she was selling is not whatever unit this is. Like, you know what I mean? This is literally all bleach. Like, there's no toner here. It's just all bleach. This is all bleach. Like, the girl was sold a bad wig. You guys are laughing at this girl and clowning this girl. But if it was you, you would be bawling and crying your eyes out. You guys are so weird and evil on the internet. You guys are actually bozos.
bozos. So that is the end of this investigation. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Whose side are y'all on? Are y'all on the side of the client or the hairstylist? And let me know if y'all want me to do more stuff like this because I need stuff to do in between testing out products because I need to give y'all more content. But yeah, bye.